Yo, what's up everybody, welcome to the channel, it's Matrix here with a brand new up to date uh, all working glitches video in Black Ops 6 Zombies. There's a brand new true walking targeted god mode glitch that you guys must see because you don't have to look for zombies. They will just come to you by themselves with that glitch. Uh, there's also a couple other glitches that you can still do like launch glitch and pile up glitches. So let's dive into it. If you want to grind out your camos completely legit via our online bot lobbies, join my discord. The link is in the description. Then DM me how many bot lobbies you want and I'll get you right into a bot lobby and you can grind out any camos or hard challenges. Before we start, please let me know in the comments which you think is the best working zombies glitch also drop a like guys and subscribe if you are new and now let's get started with the new targeted true god mode glitch first i'll explain you how to do this glitch in a group and then after in solo and go give you a few tips and tricks on how to do this first you need the valve on uh, from washington uh, avenue and that's all you need uh, then you want to come to the bowling area and i highly recommend you to take the stamina up perk so you will be a little bit faster which helps you to complete the glitch now you want to come to the valve in the bowling area and you want to activate it and then you want to stand just outside of the door you want to keep a close eye to the water pressure uh, meter and then just when it goes down then you need to start running so here in slow motion keep an eye on the water pressure it goes down right now i start running you need to remember the route by muscle memory in the white screen you start running back to the valve and then you need to rotate it immediately once you have done that then you have performed the glitch here one more time in normal speed the pressure goes down Remember this route, learn the route, it's not that hard, and then quickly rotate the valve again. And if you have done that correctly, you will see that you are in goth mode. Now there is a couple things you have to be aware of. If you do this in a group, you want to make sure that one of your friends stays in the bowling area, otherwise the glitch will undo itself because uh, you're gonna lose the water pressure completely so even in a group one person stays in the bowling area but uh, he's also in god mode and he can just kill enemies there as a group you can also uh, take turns on who is standing this and that round in the bowling area uh, but yeah therefore the other players can run around and do whatever you will be all in invincible true walking god mode true targeted god mode however you want to call it the zombies will target you for the rest of the match and if you undo the glitch for whatever reason you can always just repeat the glitch so this is a very good thing to do in solos i recommend you to get a crawler which makes it easier than when you uh have turned the valve uh you just have a crawler around you and not an annoying zombie that is going to kill you almost every time i know that the time between uh activating the valve and standing between the door and waiting for it to go down again is roughly about 16 seconds so remember that then you are prepared also keep an eye on the water pressure meter and then perform the glitch again now i've done the glitch here and i will actually show you that if you go too far away as a solo from the bowling area the glitch will undo itself so as a solo you have to stay in the bowling area you could uh, still do uh, like pack a punch your weapon and upgrade your weapon but then you'll have to just redo the glitch again so make sure you have one zombie around redo the glitch again and then you're good to go and you are safe in the bowling area god mode all the time as long as you want now here I'm performing it solo again and uh, showing that you uh, can stay in the bowling area and that you have got mode the whole whole uh, match through. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like once again. Uh, this glitch is going to help you grind out your camos and your XP. So please help me out growing the channel. Drop a like. Please drop a comment. Say what you think of this god mode because I think this is the best working god mode. It's better than the gobble gum uh, god mode because uh, you run out of uh, the gumballs so quickly. And this you can do every match on Liberty Falls. Now let's continue to the next glitch which is the unlimited self revive glitch. Let's start with a brand new glitch, which is the most important glitches as well. This is a glitch that you can do only solo on either one of the maps. And it is a sort of a unlimited self-revive glitch where you can keep your, all your progression. As you can see, I have I just started with 2255 points in this match. Uh, but if you have lost your self-revive, so I'm just going to place an example here. I'm losing my self-revive here. But if you then get cornered again or messing up the glitz you can actually do something to keep your progression and start over in round four again so what you want to do is if you die uh, without your self revive make sure to press pause right away you can't save and quit anymore but there's a trick to this what you want to do you want to press the playstation home button then move over to remote play 
then open the remote play app and then press the PlayStation Home button again and go back into Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 6 again. Now when you start the game up again you will see that you get a message that your profile was signed out and then if you go to Zombies you will see that you get another message saying your last match ended unexpectedly and a temporary save file has been recreated. This means that you can restart with the same match that you was playing in again and thereby you will save all the progression you have made, all the gobble gums, all the perks uh, that you have bought and the money that you had, had saved up. It will all be still there so you can continue where you have uh, actually died and thereby you can go to high rounds. Uh, this glitch is really powerful and basically an unlimited self revive glitch. And at the same time, a high round XP camo glitch because you can keep on uh, making progression and going to higher rounds endless, endlessly. So this is a really overpowered gl a glitch. Even if you die with a self-revive and you die again in the same round, you keep your self-revive as well in the from that same round. So make sure to uh, always do this and keep your progression if you're really tr trying to slay out XP and camos and uh, augment progression. Now let's move on to the next working glitch on Black Ops 6 Zombies, which I'm also going to show in uh, Liberty Falls. It's a new Gobblegum uh, no target god mode glitch, which works on Terminus and Liberty Falls, and here is how to do that. New true walking god mode alongside with unlimited ammo. You don't even have to reload, so this glitch is super useful for your pistols and all, any other slow weapons. Uh, this glitch is really, really OP, and it works solo and on both zombie mats Liberty Falls and uh, Terminus. Now this glitch has to do with the gobble gums uh, you need two types of gobble gums one for the infinite ammo and one for the uh, god mode the true go walking god mode the no target god mode so what we need for uh, gobble gums is the the free fire gobble gum for infinite ammo and the idle eyes for uh, having the zombies to be completely idle from you now I do want to recommend to swap any gobblegum away which have to do with other players because the uh, gobblegum glitch only works when you have one gobblegum in your first slot or uh, if you have other gobblegums activated that you can use them up. If there are gobblegums that you can't use up because uh, they involve other players like uh, reviving players uh, like uh, the first one I took away that has to do with reviving uh, players uh, you want to take those away because otherwise you can't have the uh, idol ice or the free fire gobble gum in the first slot and it has to be in the first slot so you can do the glitch with it once you have brought the two gobble gums into your uh, in your loadout if you just have one of the two yeah you can do one part of the glitch either unlimited ammo or god mode also want to recommend use your pistols and your launcher works on all these guns that are very hard to level up in zombies and you want to make the best use of this glitch now it is working after the recent patch of today so uh, go ahead and do this i uh, also want to recommend you this glitch does work with controller and keyboard but it does work easier with keyboard so if you have a keyboard make sure to connect it to your console and then go to combat settings and advanced combat uh, keybinds and then you will see that uh, which number is selected uh, to your first gobble gum slot in my case this is number four so we have to press number four later on when we are doing the glitch to activate uh, the gobble gum again so let's go in game now and i'll show you how to do this so all we need to do is buy our gobble gums until we get free fire or idle eyes uh, so in the second round i had free fire already and then all we need to do is um, take it on into our uh, stash and then uh, activate it with your controller or with your keyboard and I explained this before with a keyboard it works easier and for me to be safe uh, since I recorded this the first time I wanted to do it with keyboard so swap over to mouse and then make sure that uh, your keyboard uh, is connected alongside uh, you see the number four appears up to activate it this is what I done so first activate it and then we're gonna wait for the last very second then when the gobble gum is finished so the gobble gum is nearly finished and now in the very last second we're going to spam the number 4 or the X button on controller and if you have done this correctly you will see it will take the, uh, the gobble gum in the very last second and you will get a message prompt that says gobble gum activated but with a, from an empty slot. So this means that you have done the glitch correctly. Now I'm going to swap back to my controller since it is easier on keyboard but maybe uh, you find it as easy on Xbox or on PlayStation um, and here by you can see all 
already I have unlimited ammo for the rest of the duration of the match so permanent ammo even if this little timer in the right uh, low corner is finished uh, I have unlimited ammo now we're gonna do the no target god mode glitch on top of the unlimited ammo so see how overpowered this glitch is uh, I'm gonna warn you if you get another bob gobble gum in between make sure to use this one up or so you only have only one gobble gum activated so now here I bought the next uh, uh, idle eye gobble gum for the no target god mode which was on number five this might be a bit confusing but you use, should use up all the gobble gums so it uh, is always number four but it doesn't really matter as long as you uh, as long as you have one gobble gum left uh, i took it right here and this works the same we're going to wait for the timer to uh, for the gobble gum to finish all the way to the very end like here so in this case, I had to spam number five or press uh, spam X on uh, PlayStation or uh, whatever button is tied to it on Xbox. Then you'll see on the very end, spamming the number, uh, you take the gobble gum and you get the message again that you took an empty gobble gum. And there you go, you have made the glitch work. You still see another timer of a uh, sort of empty gobble gum. It doesn't matter, but it still works. Once that timer runs out, it still works and you are in um, no target god mode for the rest of the duration of the match. Now there's a couple things that you can't do in this state otherwise you will lose god mode. Don't make use of ammo crates or the vault and also don't make use of the arsenal. This will take you out of it and then you will lose it all. Uh, also I want to recommend you to uh, pack a punch up your uh, weapons a couple times uh, if you can so you can go as far as you want because the zombies obviously getting stronger and stronger. Also don't uh, save the match as a solo player because that will uh, lose your god mode so make sure you have time enough to do a long match with this god mode and unlimited ammo state uh, unless you have a lot of these gobble gums available. This also brings me to the next glitch on Terminus Island. If you do the gobble gum glitch on Terminus Island, the zombies still uh, room around freely. But we have uh, a trick for that. We can come to a special island here where all the zombies will spawn on this one particular island. And uh, the good thing about this island is you can just... Uh, there is an ammo crate and there is an arsenal. So you, can, you have ammo all the way and you can upgrade your weapon. The only thing you need to do maybe is to pack a punch your weapon one or two times in between. But if you are on this particular island, the zombies will spawn in these two spots. And you can just run around freely on this island. You won't lose any zombies and you can just continue slaying through the rounds so I think this is a really good pileup glitch uh, if you're alone and you don't want to work with boats uh, and you uh, when you are in god mode uh, but you just want to um, yeah get your own pileup glitch here on this island and the zombies will all stay with you so this is a one good pileup glitch if you are in god mode but now I'm going to show you two pileup glitches which work really good if you are not in god mode and you just want to have the zombies piled up right in front of you early round pileup glitch now all you need to do for this glitch is uh, have uh, two boats. Uh, I've seen multiple pileup glitches, some with one and some with uh, more than two even. But uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, melee from underneath and bring the boat up on the land first. And then once you have done that, you can melee it towards the stairs where we're going to place the first boat. But I do have a recommendation to make it easier to move the boat about. The melee macchiato perk and thereby you can punch the boat and it will move quicker about uh, when it is broken so uh, you want to break the boat first down that works the best because it's going to break down uh, anyway uh, sooner or sooner or later and then you want to place it in this position in front of the stairs so you will block off this stairs then you need a second boat and uh, once again guys with this spot with the two boats is really the easiest spot to do uh, in my um, experience so I would definitely recommend to do this one then place this boat uh, just like this uh, when you drive it up land it will almost uh, directly be in the right position test it if you can walk through it or past it normally yourself if you can't do that then it is in the right position that means that the zombies can't get through it uh, it either and uh, there is an ammo case here as well and then when you go through the rounds you will see that all the zombies are stuck behind the boat and thereby you have a, a true pileup glitch uh, created pileup glitch uh, although but it is still pileup glitch which is really cool now let's move on to the next glitch is how to do a semi god mode glitch on the map liberty falls for this glitch you need a boat obviously like I said and you, what you want to do you want to have it in a body of water open water and you want to uh, have the boat lying still completely still so it's not moving forward or backwards and then once you have done that uh, all you need to do have a melee weapon uh, a knife or a uh, bat and you want to stand at the boat's rail and then you want to look up 
you want to rotate and you want to melee at the same time. If you do that correctly, like I'm doing right here, and you keep on doing this, the longer you do this, the higher you get in the sky, you will actually launch up in the sky. And this is a really crazy glitch. Uh, how this works, uh, I even can't tell, but for some reason, uh, it brings up the, the boat in the sky. As you guys can see right here, we are completely far away on top of the map. And now you can also jump down the boat and get on top of the map, uh, which is uh, also cool for this, uh, discovering the island, go on top of the buildings, but also you can get under the map with this in this next example. But first look at the gorgeous site where I'm on at right now. You can take really good screenshots from of here uh, for all your videos, but this glitch is just in general really cool to do. Now I'll show you how to get under the map uh, with the help of my friend Ruby here. You can do this by yourself as well, but this just makes it easier. You want to launch at this particular spot and then jump to this triangular shaped uh, part of the building right here. And then uh, you could even do this without God mode. I have seen, but uh, yeah, I didn't have the time to all do that and uh, upload it. I'm just going to show it in God mode to you also because I wanted to explore the whole island because a lot of the parts are dead barriered in this island, but this is actually a free space where you can get to even without god mode but from here on you can just discover the whole island you can even go under uh, and down under the map and i'll show you a couple more clips after my last uh, glitch that i'm going to show you today this is another pile of glitch that i'm going to show you in between and then i'll show you a, a bit more of discovering the island that's just for sightseeing so let's move on to the last uh, pile of glitch that i'm going to show you right now now for this glitch all you need is a boat, you want to melee it up land and then once you are at land pull out your knife, you don't need uh, the melee macchiato kick even but if you sit in the boat and you knife the boat from inside you can actually move it around really really easy and uh, not so firmly as the melee so you can more gently place it in this little corner right next up against the ammo crate so you have ammo and there you go you have set up your first pile of glitz uh, you can do this early round and then you can start grinding on your cameras. It's a super easy glitch. What I like to do with these uh, boat uh, pilot glitches is uh, to work on my knife as well because you can easily sit on the uh, in the middle of the boat and just edge off from the from the edge uh, of the boat and knife uh, all the zombies. So just sit on the edge of the boat like I'm doing here with the other pilot glitch for example. You can just sit in the middle of the boat and then just edge off the uh, with your knife uh, and kill all the zombies and make fast progression with your knife as well. Also, I want to mention that uh, don't forget to explode the, the boat itself, otherwise the zombies will do it and you might uh, uh, get harmed that way or even die, and you don't want that. If you just want to grind out your weapons, your ammo crate is right next to you. You don't have to uh, run out and uh, go do other things uh, apart from upgrading your weapon on the, the Pack-a-Punch machine and uh, the Arsenal uh, machine. And other than that, this is just a really good pile of glitz. Now hopefully this all working glitches video on Black Ops 6 Zombies helped you guys out. If you think uh, it did so, make sure to drop a like guys, it's very much appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see more glitches and stay up to date with the best and the newest glitches on Black Ops 6. And here I'm going to show you a bit more of me exploring around under the map a couple clips to enjoy. Thanks for watching, enjoy, uh, it's Matrix and I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao ciao! <laughs>
what you want Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall My love, if you feel like I do right now Don't say you're on the run to the other side My love You say you wanna try But you never do Sugar, there's a reason 